Okay, I've uh, successfully pulled a, a, a cylinder here, and uh, so what I need to do now is to actually shape it. And what I'll do is to shape it probably into some type of a bulbous form is what I'll, what, what I'll do here, leaving the neck maybe a little bit more narrow than what I have right now. And this is where you start planning, okay, I start thinking about where do I want this neck to be, and this is the time to think about it. And I'm going to go ahead and start bulging this out and then pulling this in just a little bit more. And it's basically the same technique uh, for necking that I did earlier, just to, just to keep it more narrow. I want this just wide enough I can get my hand inside, so it's a great time to do it. Just, just squeezing it in a little bit and bridging the top rim. And, uh, Always, I usually take a piece of plastic. I always love to start thinking about finishing a piece at this stage instead of waiting until the last minute. I take a piece of plastic and brown that rim. It makes a really nice looking shape. This is something I got from Stephen Hill. Uh, there's a little cork on the end so it's floating. And uh, I don't lose my plastic. So it's kind of nice. But uh, I'm always kind of thinking about finishing the piece. Now I just bulge this out. And, uh, I mean, it's kind of an interesting little milk jug looking shape up here. It's not bad. I can put handles on that. I can stop here at, if I choose to. And then what I'm going to do is to wait to see how far this comes out. I'm going to take the uh, curved rib. I'm going to grab it like this. Tight curve at the bottom. I'm going to start pushing out from the inside. And when I push out, I'm not perpendicular to the clay. I'm angular at the clay. What I mean by angular, this is the wall. I'm going to put it right next to it. I'm not coming in like this coming in like this, so there's less drag on this particular tool as I'm pushing out. And also, everything you do, as I said, you can I want to keep saying it, everything is in slow motion. So I'm going to push on the clay and see where I'm at on the inside, and then I'm going to catch it on the outside with the stainless steel lid here. Keep, try to keep a nice tight surface. slip all these tools. If you don't, sometimes you catch it and stick to the pot itself. So I always clean them off in, after every pass. I would like this base to come out just a little bit more. Now what I can do, I can actually take a little bit of this out. I'll take some of it out right now. Undercut. Then push back on my pot and I'll go back in and take it out again. I always put my scraps back into my bucket and I, and I take the scraps out of my bucket when I finish. But I usually put them back in the bucket and recycle that and just keep it up, keep a nice uh, thick slip. The, uh, the stripping, the bathroom stripping, you get that at your local Walmart or wherever that goes across the bathtub. The bottom's close so it really works very well. Thank you, Malcolm. quickly that time. And the reason I did that, I'm going too fast. I'm going to slow it down. Once you open and start your shaping, you're going about a third speed, uh, a little bit less than half, and I'm going, I was going too fast. So I kind of went through that kind of quickly. Uh, get to the point where I can slow it down. I'm 
and back over. I don't go straight up to this ram. I don't go right to the ramp. Well, I go too fast. See if I have it right there. Pull up and stop that. Coming over the back side with the, you know, I don't come up here. I come to the back side. And what I want to do, I want to see what, what the contour edge looks like. I'm not sure. You really can't see the contour edge until you get off and, and look at it. You have a little bit more bulge here and then you do something on top of it. Let me see if I can fix the base. A nice and the bottom. Pull that neck in just a little bit. Put a little water on it. When you do this, you, want, you don't want to dra drag your fingers on the shoulder on the pot right here. I call this a finger pull. Put my finger inside the support, my finger on the outside. Upside down U shape. We got a rim, a rim of plastic around the rim of the pot, and I lift up the back edges so it doesn't stab me. So, lifting up the back, I'm not supporting my finger on it. I make this round, but I'll push it out. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do some experimenting on this piece. Uh, I would prefer it to be a little bit drier than this so it could actually hold this water. Uh, it would be kind of interesting to see if I can, I can do something with it without it collapsing. And if it does collapse, that's, that's okay too. Right? So what I'm going to do is take this ruler and just slowly press a line, a curved line, into it. To make an indention. Go back over those lines to kind of show the softness of the clay. Sometimes it's nice to design the clay at this stage so it does show the softness. But you got to be careful that you don't go through the piece. But, uh, 